say about it is it might be a touch too dry and therefore as the game goes on just crack a little. It's a bit overcast, you might think it'll swing around this morning but I'd still be inclined to bat first and get runs on the board. This is a batsman's pitch. I'm amazed that he's chosen to bowl first. It's firm, there's no real covering of grass, I think the bounce... It's good to have you back with us. You would agree, I think, that the first half of this match has been an absolute rip of the watch. I know Richie's been excited by it, and it's Richie who picks up commentary now. Facing is Michael Ball. Oh, he looks good when he hits down the ground. Very good. that a long way. No, nope, the bowler won't be happy about that. The bowling side are now allowed more players outside the ring as the fielding restrictions have been lifted. Marvellous stuff. Oh, there's a demoralizing sight for any bowler. The ball is just sailing over the fence. There was a no ball by Antini. There's the umpire signal, no ball. Exciting, exciting player. There's risk in that stroke, but it is maximum. He does score a lot of runs through the covers. He's an excellent placer of the ball. He has smashed that a long, long way. That is great to watch for the neutral, not so good for the bowler. Bell has moved into the 20s and is starting to look far more relaxed. He smashed that right out of the ground. Pushed into the gap. The sweeper picks up. That was a very anxious moment for the batsman there. And what a fantastic result here for England in this limited overs match. Plenty of standout performances too from key players who saw the ship steer itself to victory. And the English fans cheer them on.